Hi Pisces, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your weekly love reading for August 13th through the 19th. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. This is being recorded on August 10th, so you know from here on, um, there's a there's a dim little light in that candle right there, and we're hoping that it's gonna grow brighter. Um, it's a, it's you know I think it's gonna stay lit. Now remember, every everything that comes out of my mouth is for you. We'll see if it stays lit or goes out during this reading. Um, that would be interesting to see. Um, anyway, this is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, and typically I focus on love reading, so we'll just see whatever comes up. Every ha light in the house is on. What's that song? Every light in the house is on. That just came to me. Um, what's that? I don't know. I'll have to look that one up. Knight of Wands. Act now. Think later. Take action right now, Pisces. Ah, mental turmoil. Needing to step outside of your comfort zone, even if it's scary. Commitment. Oh, goodness gracious. Maybe, you know, commitment is on the mind. Oh, the two of cups reversed. Ah, yikes. So I'm not sure. Maybe there's an end of a commitment. There's been, there's some, been some incompatibility here. Arguments, disagreements. Oh, my goodness. Ah, ooh, okay. So there's a lack of faith and trust and a commitment with somebody. And I think that you're going back and forth about what to do, what action you should take here. You know, there's a decision that needs to be made, but both these twos are reversed. It's like you're very indecisive about a partnership, about a choice, about who you may have two options. Do you, do you, you know... Which way do you go? Do you go back to the past or do you move forward? I mean, that's what this is. That's because this is the past and the future, typically. Ooh, the three of swords reversed. There's been some. There's been some sorrow. There's been some hurt. Maybe this is forgiveness. Finding the strength to forgive, to take action. Courage. That candle is still lit. Barely. You know. There may be a second chance on the horizon or another chance. Somebody may want another chance with you or you may want a chance with someone else. After, <laughs> you know, there's been a lot of hurt. There's been a lot of sorrow. There's been a lot of suffering. But the thing is, the energy that you need to take on is confidence, confidence, confidence. You need to be confident. Step outside of your comfort zone. Step outside of your mind. Step outside of your head. That's what this is. This is mind. It is. Ooh. Ace of Cups reversed. So there's a lack of love in one arena. Okay. You, you do have to make a choice. Do you stay or do you go? There's no doubt about it. Do you stay or do you go? Do you... Do you stay in the on the path that you're headed down or do you take a couple steps back? Do you take 10 steps back? Do you take, you know, what are you going to do, Pisces? It feels as though, you know, there's a lack of growth in a relationship. I mean, there's there's, 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 there's no, no lie here. There's lack of growth. There's no partnership. There's no love. There's no love. So, you know, you're, perhaps you need to find the strength to release. And then there's, these are both forgiveness cards. So I, I'm thinking that you have a choice. You have, this is a, this is a new doorway. You know, that, that is what that is. Do you go through that doorway? 
You're going to have to find your confidence and your courage to do so. Act now, think later. Is that, that candle still going? That candle is still going. I'm just, I gotta move it up. It's, it's bothering me. I don't know why. Maybe I should just blow it out. Mm. I can't blow it out. Well, I'm going to pull this shade down. Um, There we go. That's a little bit better. Um, yeah, there's a, there's a <laughs> awakening. Okay, there's an awakening here. Now, the judgment is a card of awakening. It's also a card of karma. It's also a card of releasing the past and telling the truth. It's a card of truth being revealed. These are. It's a card of forgiveness. This is a card of forgiveness as well. So maybe, you know, you need to find the courage to... Uh, I don't know what you you we're gonna get some clarifiers you need to find the courage to move forward in some in some direction to ask for forgiveness courage to move forward and ask for forgiveness now I don't know if that's you or what but there's a lack of love here lack of emotional fulfillment either way there is I think there's some sort of breakup okay there is and you have another opportunity waiting for you with this two of wands you do But you may have to get creative, okay? You may have to get creative um, when asking for this forgiveness, whatever that is, or if there's for even if you want, maybe you don't want forgiveness. Maybe who knows what this is? Um, the lovers. Okay, so there's a there's probably a, a deep connection here, and now I absolutely know you have a choice between two. You have a choice between two options. There's no doubt. One of them is a soulmate connection. One of them is lust. One of them is well suited for you. One of them is not. And now there's an ending that needs to happen first. Okay, this is an ending that needs to happen that may not have happened. Something's getting old. Okay, it's like the fire is going to go out. Okay, eventually it's going to burn out. Something is getting old and release is needed. Release is needed. Both of these are cards of release. So that you can have victory and success and progress forward. Look at, he's flying towards success, towards what he wants after something ends. And it's probably some relationship that isn't working out. I'm not sure what that is. Let's get another one. Yep, and now we have the Eight of Swords twice. This is being mentally trapped, being mentally bound, but not really bound. Her feet aren't bound, her arms aren't bound. She can move, she can, she can go, she can get the hell out of here whenever she's ready. But she or he, is, is choosing to stay mentally conflicted instead of moving forward, instead of taking the mask off and moving forward. You ha this is act now, think later, okay? Take action. And when you do take action, this is the card of happiness and bliss and growth and rebirth. It's also a card of creativity. Get creative, take action right now. Happiness will come if you do. It will make you happy. If you take action, you will be happy. Now, there you are. <clears throat> you have to offer your love to somebody, and I don't know who it is. You know, I feel as though you've been involved in a situation where somebody tried to bring you down. Somebody tried to control you. And, and maybe you don't want to be committed to that anymore. This is getting out of a commitment. It's been too, discon too much discontent. I think you have options. You have a choice. And, and the lover's card is a card of, of choice. It's a card of consequences. Be prepared to live with the consequences of your choice. Seven of Swords. That's, that's sneaky, shady behavior. 
getting away with something? Are you dealing with somebody that is shady and doesn't really want a commitment? All they wanted was the lust that you had to offer, you know, the sex? You could be dealing with a cheater. You had really good intentions. It could be a Leo, could be an Aries, Sagittarius, could be... Um, Oh, I see Leo the most. Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. Um, we do have Scorpio. It doesn't matter what sign. We have Scorpio a couple times, too. We have... Um, well, anyway, I feel as though that you are dealing with somebody that is a cheater. They don't want to fully commit to you. But they still want to keep you under their belt. You know, they want to be in control of you. But they don't, you know... They don't want to have anything long term with you and you're mentally conflicted about leaving them perhaps yeah and walking away ending this partnership ending this relationship this commitment I think that's what this is you're probably walking away or you're thinking about walking in another direction and heading elsewhere heading out not holding on heading out of this situation so that you can find victory and success elsewhere you know, and abundance. This is wish fulfillment. Going to follow, get my wish. I'm going after my wish. And that is exact. You walk away from something. This is the Eight of Cups. This is breakup. This is breakup too. You break up from something or you walk away from something that doesn't serve you. I don't know what it is. A relationship of some sort. And you get on your horse or whatever it is. And, and you head towards victory and success. And whatever your wish is. You head towards wish fulfillment. You head toward abundance. This is a wish fulfillment card. So as you walk away, you're heading towards this Ace of Cups. You're heading towards love, whatever it is that you're walking away from. You know, maybe you decide that, you know, you foresaw this coming. You did. It's not like you didn't see this coming. You knew this was going to happen. You just were waiting for the right time, and the time is now. I feel like you're going after the the the... situation that has the most growth somebody from your past six of cups somebody from your past Now, these are the same cards, just different. Transition and death, they're both 13. You end something with somebody and have a brand new beginning with somebody from your past. This is what this is. The death is a new beginning. A rebirth. You walk away from something and you have a transition, a transformation, a new beginning with someone from your past. I don't know if that's what you want. Oh, the devil card. Ego has been a big, huge factor here. The Nine of Cups and the devil is, is ego, both of them. Even though this is a wish fulfillment card, you know, somebody's ego has been in the way. But there's a strong, strong, strong connection. And it's like the change, they just, they just can't be broke. You know, you are going to have to, to hold your head up high and do the noble thing. This is noble. Noble. Take the lead. This is the leader. This is the boss. You need to take the lead. And offer that relationship that will lead to something long-term, happy. This is happily ever after. And it's like the angels are bringing you together. What is this Six of Cups? What is this Six of Cups? Six of Cups is somebody from your past.
somebody that you have been on break with, somebody that, you know, perhaps you had closed yourself off emotionally from them, but maybe now you're feeling pretty lonely. You don't want to grow old alone. You don't want to close that door. This is the death of an idea. Fear of being taken advantage of. Fear of being rejected, I think. Yeah, there is. This, there's a lot of worry and anxiety and guilt, perhaps. But I don't want to be alone. You don't want to be alone. And, and you don't deserve to be alone. Nine, nine, nine. And then we have the nine of cups under here. Four nines. Nine, 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 nine. Nines are closure. No closure. Okay. Door is closing and a door is opening. They're about, that's what it is. Door is opening and door is closing. When one door opens, I mean, when one door closes, another door opens, and that's exactly what this is. There's a new door opening for you because you close a door. You close the door to worry and anxiety and regret. Nine, nine, nine. Closure. But there's a lack of willpower, a lack of ambition to take the lead. You have to master your emotions. You have to. Seven. You're being, this is, the seven is reversed, unfortunately. You are being divinely guided to take action, to move in a direction, but you're not doing it. You're not following the plan. You're not following the plan. Therefore, the universe, the wheel of fortune is bad luck, bad karma. Because you're not following the plan. You're trying to, to control the situation. You're not following the fate. You know, I feel as though you have been probably dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, that has really brought you down. They've brought your self-esteem down. This person has probably is probably pretty conceited and self-centered and lazy. And you're probably, you know, thinking about saying goodbye to this person. So I, that's what this is. It's saying goodbye to one and a new door opening. Let's talk about the new. Let's talk about the new. There's, there, I think you're closing a door on a fire sign or a fire sign is closing a door on you. That's what it looks like to me. And if it's not a fire sign, it could be any sign. But I want to know about the future. Okay, so this week, you maybe you're closing the door. Maybe this week is when you close the door to that, whatever this is. This person that doesn't want to commit. I think that's what this is. I think you're dealing with somebody who does not want to commit. And, you know, we have the Empress and the Knight of Cups reversed. So somebody doesn't see your worth. Somebody doesn't want to grow with you. Somebody doesn't really want a, re a real relationship. The person that you are dealing with probably has many, many options. And, you know, they, they're not looking for what you're looking for. I think there's somebody from your past that has been watching you or you have been watching them. And perhaps they, they, you know, have been waiting for some sort of communication or this is you communicating with them or them communicating with you. There's been some sort of observation, that's for damn sure. I feel as though somebody has been involved with a, a negative Nelly, a naysayer, or maybe a third party that has really... Um, messed things up now we have the queen of coins queen of pentacles reversed somebody is is very um hard-headed and stubborn and probably not even focusing on anything but not focusing on love everything but love at this time you know you could be dealing with a taurus virgo or capricorn as well but this person is either you're watching this person or this person is watching you or both 
But see this, this page of swords is cutting out a relationship that is not well suited for you. <coughs> Could be with an air sign, a fire sign, or an earth sign. Okay, because this is an air sign, a fire sign, an earth sign. So Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, this is a uh, fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn again. It looks like things were completely halted, stalled with this earth sign. Stopped. Stopped. And I think, yeah, okay. So this is somebody, the person from your past is probably an earth sign. You see, I don't know. I don't know. But this is about being practical. This is about bringing stability and security back to your life. This is a king of security. This is a king of loyalty. Now, there's definitely a soulmate connection here with the lover's card. The king and queen of coins. Whether it doesn't matter when you get the king and queen. We have the empress and the emperor. We have the devil card. There's a soulmate connection here. But you're going to have to find the resources and you're going to have to take action. That's what this magician card is. You find the resources to take action to bring success to your life. You have to be willing to change your old ways and you have to be willing to step out of your head. You have to be willing to use your heart head over heart decision. You have to be willing to go to, through that new door and you have to be willing to take the lead because this is take action, the king of, of wands, take the lead, be the boss. The magician can do anything, anything. As above, so below divine connection there's a divine connection here and you know exactly what it is Pisces the very first card and the clarifier act now think later head in the direction that you desire and you will find happiness bliss this is happiness and bliss. Growth, rebirth, renewal. What happens every summer? Everything grows. So I feel as though there's an opportunity here for you to get your wish. With the Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment and the magician. But you have to take action. You could be dealing with a Gemini. You could be dealing with a, an Earth sign. We have Leo, Aries. We have all the signs here. But I believe there's been a third-party situation that has gotten in the way. There's been three's a crowd. And you have to choose. You do have to choose. You have to put in effort. You're dealing with somebody who's not putting in effort. Why should you have to put in all the work? You're reluctant to move on? How come? You like the competition? You like to play the game? But you have a new opportunity waiting for you. This is a new prospect waiting for you. But you, this is a breakup card as well. You break up from one situation and a new opportunity is right there waiting for you but you have to take the blindfold off and you have to reveal the truth and you have to speak the truth that's what this is but I see the indecision there's a lot of indecision here and undecisive about what is the right way to go head towards love head towards love two of cups now upright you leave one bad relationship and you find love. But you have to have faith and trust in a new beginning. So I feel as though right now there's a lot of anxiety and resentment. 
that has built up and you need to release it because there's an opportunity for love here. We have the two of cups here, the two of cups here. There's an opportunity for love here. If you take action, you have to take action. Don't point the finger at anybody else. It's in your ballpark. You have there's the decision is made. Make that decision. Seven of Cups in regards to where your heart lies. What do you want, Pisces? You can have whatever partner you want. But you have to take action. You have to wake up. You have to stop being in limbo. Right now you're in a one-sided situation. Right now that's a one you're in a one-sided situation with the wrong individual. But it is what it is, right? So let's see. Let's get an angel romance card for Pisces. There's an opportunity for, for a soulmate connection here, Pisces. Could be with somebody from your past. We do have the Six of Cups. I don't know. I don't know. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. We all know what that card means, right? Keep an open mind. Follow your heart. We're going to get one more. Oh, it flipped. Oh! Okay. Okay. The situation involves marriage. If there was one person in this world that you could marry, who would it be? If you had to get married. Some of you are going to be like, hell no, I'm never getting married. Well, maybe that's why some, something isn't working out. I don't know. Somebody doesn't want a commitment here, whether it's you or the other person. I don't know. Somebody doesn't want a commitment. It's clear. One, It's one-sided. One person wants a commitment. The other one doesn't. Anyhow, Pisces, I feel like this is a week where you are probably making a choice to leave a relationship that is not compatible. And as you leave a relationship that's not compatible, a new relationship has an opportunity to blossom, to manifest. But you have to take action. Anyway, that's what I have. Talk to you later. Candle's still burning.